today we're going to be looking at Blender 2.5 Beta, Blender 2.56 to be exact. Uh, we're going to be answering a question from a viewer. The viewer's name is ACP Callen, and his question is, he is just wondering, in Blender 2.4, when you added a sphere, you were able to choose how many segments uh, there were and faces, uh, but he's not seeing that option when he adds a sphere in Blender 2.5. So let's quickly go to Blender 2.49 here. And we'll delete this default cube. And we will hit spacebar and we will add a UV sphere. And right here you see we get an option for number of segments, number of rings, and the radius. And we'll turn this number down. We'll just change it around a bit. And you'll see we'll get a very low poly sphere when we do that. Uh, so there's that low poly sphere. If we add a sphere again, uh, I think the defaults were 32 and... I don't know, 20 or something around there. So, so you can see definitely a difference with the lower poly compared to the higher poly. So and there are some cases where you want to be able to, you don't want that default. And actually, a lot of cases, you don't want that default. So let's have a look at Blender 2.5. Uh, we'll come in here. We'll delete the fault cube. And you'll notice when we hit space bar and we type in sphere and we add a UV sphere here, it didn't give us those options, at least not over here it did. But if you look right down here in the corner, there we have the options there, and we can change them real time and see what the sphere will look like. This is a bit of an advantage over the previous way where once you set those numbers, uh, you couldn't see while you were setting the numbers. So you can sit here and modify until you get the uh, resolution you want on that sphere and the size that you want on that sphere. And that uh, little window there will stay there for a little while. Uh, I don't know exactly at what point it goes away. Right there, I clicked on something else and it went away. So make sure you set those how you want before you start uh, moving stuff around. So once again, we'll add a UV sphere and we can start modifying uh, those options for it. So Blender 2.5, it was just in a different place than you expected, but it gives you that advantage of being able to see real time uh, what's going on when you're changing those numbers instead of guessing and then having to redo it if you guessed wrong. So that's a quick uh, Blender 2.5 tip. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Uh, there's a link in the description. It's Chris with a K, and I hope that you have a great day.